Conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f up. Speaking of Conor McGregor, he's took some shots at the top coaches in the game and a tweet that I has since that. been delayed. I didn't see yeah, this. Yeah, I was, I, I don't know. I was like, I, I, in my head, I thought this tweet brought to you by Proper 12. <laughs> well, well, here's what he said. Just to give some context, Faraz Zahabi is a little douchebag. Trevor Whitman is a pad man. Javier Mendez is a fat ass lick kickboxer. Mike Brown is a smelly prick. Greg Jackson got caught up. The system of Coach Kavanaugh is now shining through in years to come. The world will know what we've been at. It's beginning to bear fruit if you want to train Train at SBG Island with Cav and me. We are fight factory, aching to butter churning. It's true because they've got such a massive roster of MMA, sorry, UFC talent. They've got so many. It's like, so never many. mind, step aside, Greg Jackson. So many. Name five. Name one. Conor McGregor. Other than Conor. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He was born Name and raised in Dublin. <laughs> <Name> <laughs> oh, dear. He was born and raised. He's just got a weird, weird, weird. He's the ginger stepchild. I, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know why he did that. Like, why do you take a shot at people that, like, it's totally out of the blue. It has nothing to do expression with expression? Again, you don't bring someone down to put, build yourself up. Right. Right, like how relevant is Ross that? Ross Sahabi, uh, I don't know, maybe the the coach of the second best fighter fucking ever. Like you know, shit probably, on that guy. Probably the best. Probably the best. Maybe the best. No, no yeah. steroids. Uh, then definitely the best. If we're yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and then the best. Greg Jackson. I mean, like that. How many fucking champions roll through that place? And Javier, the nice guys, like the nice guys, as come well. on, the really nice guys. And Trevor you know Whitman, I mean? that one hurt. That one hit me here when he said Trevor Why? Whitman because he is like a salt of the earth human being. <sighs> like he couldn't be. He's the guy that won't cheer for his own fighter winning a world title until he knows that the opponent is okay. Like that's so, so the this type is the of guy thing. he is. How Did do you shit you on that see? guy? Did you see Trevor Whitman just to talk about him? Because you're right. What a nice guy. Every time I don't know him, know him, but obviously I always we're in the same circle. So I always mm -hmm. go up to him and say, hi. Um, I always go up to him, say hi. You know, we have a quick shoot the shit for a couple of minutes. And he is always the nicest guy. And then Saturday night after Leon won the belt, he went over con congratulating Leon and the smile on his face. And it was mm -hmm. genuine because, yeah, of course, he's devastated that his part, uh, sorry, his fighter Kamara was lost, but also you've got to be happy for the guy. And to be able to have that separation and say, yeah, I'm really sad. Of course, I'm team Kamaru all day long, but good for you, brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that just says and what kind of guy we're dealing with here. That's, that's genuinely who he is as a person, too. That's not, there's no show, there's no faking it. 